Welcome back once again, Spazites, to some Transformers video reviews. Today is the first of six days straight of Transformers Dinobot Core Class video reviews. Uh, seven days straight, actually, because I'm going to do a separate video review on Volcanicus. Come on, focus, please. Focus. Volcanicus, right there. This is number one of six. We have Dinobot Sludge. Uh, and then we also have... Come on, focus. Dinobot Slug, Grimlock, Scar, Swoop, and Snarl to do over the next six days. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our first one. I'm going to do a quick cut, and then we will be right back after uh, I get uh, Sludge here out of his uh, little cardboard prison. So yeah, be right back. Uh, stick with me, and thanks for watching. And here is Sludge in all of his little core class glory. He is cute. He comes with his uh, his brontosaurus head detached. So let's just go ahead and pop that on. I believe it goes on like this. And, and then it just goes up like that when we transform them. These should be pretty easy transformations. But yeah, he's got full shoulder articulation. Uh, well, circular articulation anyway, uh, because he's just a little core class. He doesn't really have a whole lot of articulation there. Um, his legs are actually hooked to these large things on his hips, but his legs, his knees do bend, and his legs do uh, kind of go forward. It, it's it's tricky, <laughs> but they do go forward. And like I said, they it looks weird the way they are. Um, you know, hooked up to these hip things, but eh, whatever. It's just a cute little core class figure, and it needs to be able to transform not only into a dinosaur, but a body part for Volcanicus. So there are certain things they had to do. Um, perhaps they could have changed it if they had a Dunham Deluxe or even Voyager class size, uh, preferably leader class, but uh, that would be another $300 just for the six Dinobots, and most people have already paid, you know, at least 200 for the four that are currently out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, there's not a whole lot to him. This is going to be a short video. I'm going to go ahead and transform him into his, uh, his little brontosaurus mode. So we'll be right back after another quick cut. Thanks for watching. And here he is in his little tiny bronto mode. He's tiny. He has no articulation whatsoever. But he looks cute. <laughs> Rah! <laughs> That's as good as his articulation goes. And look at how long that little tail is. <laughs> now, I won't be transforming them into their individual components until uh, the Volcanicus video. So that's why I won't be showing the uh, body portion of Volcanicus. But anyway, yeah, here he was. He was a pretty simple transformation. I probably could have done it on screen. I actually managed to do the transformation without looking at the instructions. So um, I don't know if I did it in the right order, but I did do it right. <laughs> but yeah, here he is. He's cute. And uh, I can't wait to get all six of them. Uh, they're going to look a lot better in robot mode standing side by side, I think, than, than dinosaur mode. But eh, either way, they're still going to look cute. Um... <clears throat> I do have the Legends class Slash for a seventh member of the Dinobots that uh, I have not opened. Uh, I actually think it's a used one, so it's been opened and uh, it got taped back closed. I'm not even sure if it was taken out of its uh, packaging for whatever reason. But anyway, without... I must digress, because <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a short one. I know I tend to ramble a little. I apologize for that. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a comment down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all that good stuff. If you really like the video and you're not already, please subscribe. It's completely free for you to do, and it helped me grow my channel. I'd really appreciate it. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. As of recording this video, I believe I'm at 991, so I'm pretty excited about reaching that 1,000 milestone. Uh, yeah, all that having been said, until next time, as usual, be kind 
Happy hunting and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands. And when you go out, please be safe.